Hello, my karma babies. How are you doing today? How are you doing? Um, I'm going to talk to you about something that's been weighing on me. And uh, it's controversial. So this is going to be another riddle me. This, I'm going to skirt around some things, but I'm going to uh, talk as uh, openly as I possibly can. Now, before I begin this video, let me just say, share this video, like this video, subscribe to this video. It's very important video, guys, very important video. Uh, I'm taking a little bit of a chance on talking about this because it's sort of political, sort of. I saw in the news where in Philadelphia, there was writing and I can understand the frustration when you feel that you're not being heard, you're not being um, valued as an American citizen, but it brought back a lot of memories for me. It brought back memories of 1968 when Martin Luther King was viciously murdered. There was a two day riot that occurred. Guys, I was right in the middle of it. Martial law was enacted. You couldn't come out of your house. Stores burned up all around me. I lived on the west side in Chicago where it occurred in 1968. I was all of 20 years old at the time, I was very frightened. Didn't know what was really happening, but boy, did I see the aftermath of what occurred. That happened 55 years ago. Now you tell me that we are not smart enough or savvy enough to make a change other than to every time something goes wrong, go out and loot? Don't you realize that the majority of the time, whoever is doing the looting, you're gonna to go to jail. There were in Philadelphia last night or yesterday, yeah, I think it happened two nights in a row, 52 people was arrested for going into the stores. They call it flash mobbing. They go in and they just tear up and they devastate business owners. It's, it's very unfair, not only for the business owners, but for the law abiding people that are in the community. Because once you go in and take that TV or go to the meat store and take all of that meat as a business, the majority of the time, they're not going to open back up again. That's what happened on the west side of Chicago 55 years ago. The big box stores left, never to return. You know, we talk a lot on this channel and other channels about stores closing. And we think about the fact that we're afraid that these stores are closing. Does it have to do with the recession? Does it have to do with depression? What does it have to do with? Sometimes it's because of this. Target, Walmart, even clothing stores like Nordstrom's, they are closing stores in communities that they've had devastation happen to them already. You're hurting yourself. Please stop. Please Look for other means to rectify and handle your problems. This should not be happening 55 years later. Every time something goes wrong, let's go riot. Let's go steal this. Let's go steal that liquor stores, stealing ATM machines. You leave 
they were stationed behind. A lot of people worked years to open their stores. They sacrificed, they worked hours and hours. I know as a former business owner, you work hours and hours to present things to the public that you want them to have and that you want to share with them. And then somebody comes along and wipe you out. That's, that's just not right. We got to come up with sol solutions, guys. We've got to come up with solutions. There's There are better ways. I feel that we're afraid of these mass robberies. Many, many stores are leaving Oakland, California. Many. They're leaving because of these flash mob robbings. What's gonna happen with the people that are left there in Oakland that can't move out of the area when they need to go to a grocery store? If they wanna go to a clothing store and buy something, you're messing with people's jobs in the community. You're messing with their well being. You're going in and writing and stealing and you're going to jail. For something like that, you picked up a bottle of whiskey or two bottles of whiskey. That's not considered shoplifting. You're, you're facing a whole other crime. You're facing looting, lawlessness. It's not like you're going into the store and picking up a bottle of liquor and you're shoplifting. I'm not condoning that. You are actually looting which I believe is a felony. In Philadelphia, they arrested over 52 people. How many people was robbing? How many people, you know, there's, um, I don't know what it's called, but when they show these people on the news running away and don't you know that you're gonna get caught? Every time you're gonna get caught. And you're going to ruin your life. You're going to ruin your parents' life. Because now you're going to have a criminal record. You're going to go to jail. Why not get together? If you can get together to loot, can't you get together to figure out ways to solve problems when atrocities happen in, in, in any area? Um... That shouldn't happen. There's got to be a better way, guys. I remember walking down the street on Madison Avenue, Madison Street in Chicago, coming home from my job. I was so afraid. Fires were on both sides of me. I was really afraid. And afterwards, walking and looking at the buildings that were burned out, looking at all the jobs that were lost. It was very, very devastating. And every time I see this happening now, it brings me back to 1968. It brings me all the way back. And years after that, because if you go to the west side of Chicago right now, you will see the remnants of what has happened and what is happening every day in that community because of what happened in 1968. Parents, it was a lot of young people. Parents today seem to be afraid of their children. Parents, please go back to the old days of raising your children the way that you want them to be when they become adults. You can't wait until they're an adult or a teenager and start imparting um, proper behavior to them. It has to start from when they're babies. Well, I hope that this video gets to you. I hope that you get to see this. I hope that as a community, 
that the leaders in the community can come up with a better solution. People are frustrated. People don't have jobs. People are losing their homes. They're getting evicted. Electricity is out of this world. Food prices are out of this world. But guys, there's got to be a better way. Where are all the leaders when this happens? I don't see any of them. I don't see them on the news. We got to do better. And remember, how others treat you is their karma. But how you respond is your karma. How you respond to any situation, any dire situation, any emergency, it's got to be better than this. You're not going to beat the system. You're going to get that cute jacket or nice pair of gym shoes. They all wear out. But integrity, dignity, and honor last forever. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.